This is Twit. For anybody who follows PC hardware like I do, we've been waiting for hard specs. We've seen rumors for a while about what this was going to include. We already knew that the new generation consoles from both Sony and Microsoft were going to have AMD inside. So the newest Zen 2 architecture for the CPUs, which you've already seen for desktop. And they were also going to feature the second generation of AMD's RDNA architecture. And exactly what uh, that includes, we haven't really been briefed on that yet from AMD, but it's, it's kind of nice because we're getting a preview of desktop here, starting with the Series X, which they've revealed has eight cores. So it's eight custom Zen 2 cores. They're going to be running at, it says 3.8 gigahertz. Okay. Uh, or 3.6 gigahertz with SMT. Uh, this is something, I know there's been some discussion about this. We could have a separate discussion about this another time, whether or not having SMT, which is symmetrical multiprocessing, a lot of people know it as hyper-threading on the Intel side, how that impacts gaming performance. Sort of interesting discussion. Mm -hmm. Turning it off apparently can sometimes increase single uh, single-threaded boost numbers, that sort of thing. But the GPU right. is what's really impressive here. Xbox is going to have, the Series X is going to have a custom RDNA 2 GPU with 12 teraflops of performance. This is based on 52 compute units, which is approaching, uh, it's it's higher than what we have at, uh, on desktop currently, first of all. I was going to say, it's, it's we, like a real computer, but more so. <laughs> yeah, like the, the current high-end AMD graphics card since the Radeon 7 was discontinued anyway, is the RX 5700 XT that has 40 compute units, if I'm not forgetting. This is significantly higher, 52. And it's apparently clocked at 1.825 gigahertz. So, and then other specs that round this out, 16 gigs of memory. That's the number we saw first with the Radeon 7 card. Of course, this is going to be GDDR6 and not high bandwidth memory, and uh, mm -hmm. it's partition, which is kind of interesting. The 10 gigs are graphics, and then the remaining six are split between the operating system and other reserved memory. And then it has a one terabyte, they're describing it as a custom NVMe SSD. So uh, other specs are available from Microsoft. It, it's, it's interesting. I, I also appreciate the fact that actually both of these new consoles are going to have a, a UHD Blu-ray drive built in, which of course the Xbox already has. But uh, as we move on to Sony, that's something that they've added as well, finally. The, even the PS4 Pro didn't have a UHD drive, which is kind of surprising because it's a Sony product. But that's another discussion, I guess. Still, I mean, this is, these are really powerful specs, and they're more powerful than anything we have on desktop right now, at least from AMD. 12 teraflops is a lot. That's not quite up to the level of an RTX 2080 Ti. But you're getting close mm -hmm. to an RTX 2080. And we all know that consoles, they kind of get down to the metal more. They they optimize for the hardware a little bit better than they tend to on PC. So developers are going to be able to get a lot out of this in theory. And the raw numbers <laughs> are really impressive. So obviously they're going to be targeting 4K gaming at, at good frame rates here. 